Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the October 15th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is... It's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. However, it's just past 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you are listening at that 1 o'clock time frame, thanks so much for doing that. We'll make today's show as pertinent as we can. And, of course, if you're listening live, we would love to hear from you. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in but you'd like me to take a look at something, go ahead. Send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our tiger's den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. Right now, we begin the day as we take a look at the equity futures. We've got all of those trading to the upside. The Dow's up about a half a percent, 162 points. NASDAQ's up three tenths or 49 points. S&P is up four tenths or 17. Russell's up a half a percent at 12 points to the upside. That spot volatile index is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That says the S&P has the wind at its back. If we take a look at what's going on internationally, some of the major markets out here, you can see all the, uh, the Shanghai, the Nikkei, the Hang Seng, all finishing up, uh, up 1.8, 1.5%. Uh, Australia was up 7 tenths of a cent. And in Europe, the DAX and the FTSE also trading higher. Gold's off 19 bucks. Silver's down 20 pennies. Lights Recruit is up 87 cents. Natural gas off 11 cents. Platinum is uh, down a buck 60, so pretty strong out there. Hardly a move to the downside. Palladium off 21 bucks. <laughs> Uh, you got the 30-year Treasury. She's trading out at 159.22. So let's begin the day, kind of how I begin my day, I guess, parts of it. Um, let's go take a look at what's going on in the international markets. So we're going to change screens here. And uh, this is one of the charts. Many of the charts that you see here are included in the morning or the evening a mastering probability newsletter. So here <clears throat> we got the Shanghai, the Hang Seng, the Nikkei, and the DAX along the uh, top panel. If we take a look at the Hang Seng, the Hang Seng, even though it's not shown here, it has a sell the D point. And as long as price remains below that green line, that's Stevie's oscillator and change line, price is likely going to target 3601.80. Now, if price closes above that green line, that'll go ahead and put the Shanghai into full out bullish mode. And we would anticipate or expect that price would get back to where it generated that sell the D point. So right now, it's kind of in uh, neutral to bearish territory. That is not the case with the Hang Seng. The Hang Seng formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. It did about four or five trading days ago when price gapped up a rising window. And now price should target its TD9 breakdown level. That's at 25,900.68. The Hang Seng absolutely in bullish mode as we speak right now. The same is true about the Nikkei. The Nikkei formed a buy the D point pattern or a Gartley buy pattern. Today, price closed above that red oscillator and change line. It now has A to B equals CD to the upside. In fact, each of these, the Hang Seng and the Nikkei, well, the Nikkei already has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. That would look like this. Now, I can't draw on the full A to B equals CD pattern, but if we take a look at just the A to B point, that's this blue line here. I could just move this over to the C point out there. And uh, now that's just the, even though you might look at it and say, hey, geez, looks like Sunday night, Monday morning, the NAK could uh, go ahead and complete that 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. Yes, but that does not mean it's a top. That does not mean it's a top at all. You want to wait for some type of bearish reversal candle. So the NAK is in an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So, too, is the DAX. Now, the DAX formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. It did it on the trading day of October 16th when it generated that bullish hammer candle. So it, too, has a A to B equals CD pattern. No reason for me to go ahead and type that in here. But if a bearish reversal candle forms, 
And I'm not saying it's going to do it today, but if one forms, then that would create a Gartley buy pattern. The FTSE, that's in the lower left. This formed a TD9 count bottom. That did it on the trading day of September 20th. It is also now in an A to B equals CD to the upside out there, and so we'd be looking for a bearish reversal candle. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, <clears throat> on Wednesday, this generated Rhodes momentum indicator top. It did that when it generated this little bearish engulfing bearish sash candle. Now, price has only been able to pull back and test and reject the top of that daily profile. So even though we've got a topping signal here, price has not busted through any levels of support. We're looking at the daily time frame, and therefore its message is neutral. I would say it's just neutral right now. And neutral because price is below that green oscillator and change line. You get above that, it'll go from neutral to neutral to bullish. If we take a look at the euro, the euro generates a uh, wave number seven, that's letter G, that's courtesy of Basil Chapman. It completes an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, the reason I say it completes it is because of the uh, bullish engulfing candle from three days ago. So this suggests higher price. That would go ahead and weaken the dollar. The, the yen is strengthening the dollar. It continues to move higher. It's had a nice explosive move overnight. I don't see it. And it's got an A to B equals CD pattern as well. So bearish reversal candle in the case of the uh, yen would generate a sell the D point. So, that's what, so in summary, with regard to what's going on around the markets, we can say this. The Hang Seng is bullish. The Nikkei is bullish. The DAX is bullish. The FTSE is bullish. The U.S. dollar index is neutral, the euro is bullish, and the uh, yen is absolutely uh, bullish out here. Now, when I say bullish, that's going to go ahead and uh, strengthen the U.S. dollar index. So that's what's going on internationally. Now let's go take a look at what's going on in the U.S. by taking a look at the equity future contracts out here. So here we'll go ahead and move over since I'm on this screen. We'll change over to this set of uh, charts here. You've got the ES in the upper left-hand side. Now, what the ES is doing, and we'll do, I'll wait uh, and we'll switch over to my other, my black background charts. But the ES Mini, just like some of those other international markets that we were looking at, has an A to B equals CD to the upside. So, too, does the NQ. <clears throat> Quite frankly, this morning, so, too, does the Dow. And um, not so much in case in, this, in the Russell 2000. So I've got A to B equals CD up patterns that are in place for at least three of the four equity future contracts. So the question is, okay, where do those A to B equals CD patterns take us to? Let's go switch over to my black background charts. We'll go over to the uh, TAS market profiles. Here's the daily time frame. We'll just simply expand the chart out. So here's the ES mini. I'll go ahead and pull this back just a bit. You can see the A to B equals CD. So you're going to see a couple patterns out here. One, you're going to see a, 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 a square that represents a, a consolidation pattern. So the top of that consolidation pattern is in approximately the 4470-ish type area. The one-to-one -one A to B equals CD takes us to 4478. I am not saying that that is where price is going to stop. But I am saying at this stage, at least at 814 in the morning, that is where price is targeting. If we take a look at the NQ out here, let's pull that back. In the NQ, you've got an A to B equals CD pattern. <clears throat> Even if that B point was passed with lighter volume, it's passed it. <clears throat> and so what we're taking a look at here is the first price projection gets us up to 15,219. I've drawn in a small rectangular or square consolidation pattern as well. The 1 to 1.272 way to B equals CD would take us up in the 15,391 level. We get back from this break, we're going to go out to California. We're going to speak with Brent, and we're going to be talking about Goldilocks. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go out to Martinez, California and speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for being up so early. How are you doing this morning? Well, good morning, Steve. I'm doing great. How about you? Excellent. I'm doing I'm doing well. Also looking forward to the uh, weekend. And I believe you called this morning to take a look at gold. So uh, let me know what I can do for you, how I can best help you. Well, like last Friday, we had the big move up and then it pulled back. I'm looking more if there's the potential for this to maybe bottom on us. So if you could take a look at some oh, different time frames, I mean, we should look at, I guess, daily to see if we're at, you know, some count that would make sense for it to be pulling back. If not, is there some level on the shorter term, you know, charts like 30, 60 minutes that would, uh, you know, set up for a potential bottom? Sure, sure. Okay, so let's take a look at Goldilocks. This is the daily time frame chart that I have on our screen here, and I have the uh, daily profiles. We're taking a look, folks, at the uh, December contract, and what we'll see out here is that gold has actually completed a uh, an A to B equals CD pattern. So the A point that I'll use out here, this is kind of the junior, the smaller, the conservative A to B equals CD pattern. That's the low from September 29th. That's the A point. The B point is out here at the high of October 4th. Uh, come on, work with us here. It's going off my keyboard. There we go. There's our B point. And the C point two days later on October 6th. So we'll see that yesterday we had that, uh, not, or two days ago, we hit that level with a wide ranging bar. Wide ranging bars are typically not how A to B equals CD patterns complete. Yesterday was just a small bodied candle. And today we've got a bearish engulfing candle. And that is uh, suggesting that, and it, of course, it's all going to depend, as you know on the end of the day candle session, not what it looks like at 8.20 in the morning. But right now you do have a sell the D point pattern or a Gartley sell pattern. So we have to acknowledge that, be ready for that. What does that mean? So that's the first pattern that's out here. You ask the question, where is price likely to find support? Or where may where where might be the first level that would find support? And I know you want to take a look at the short term time frame charts, which we will. But I think it's the daily chart that we have to that may give us that information. And that is, will price hold 1768.20? That is the top of its daily profile. Price has been above it for two days. What we can see about 1768.20 is that has acted as resistance. It's been at resistance uh, from October 1st. It was tested one, two, three, four times four times before a price broke through that. Now, 
If price gets back inside there, Brent, that means a close below 1768.20. That could set up a move back to 1748, even to 1734. So before I go switch over to another set of charts, any questions about this chart? Oh, that's great. Thank you, Steve. Okay, so 1768.20, thereabouts, is, is the first level that we'd be looking at. Now, we'd, we're going to go take a look at our multi-time frame charts out here. And our multi-time frame charts, we're really looking at the intraday. So we're looking at the bottom panel in the upper right. In the upper right, we'll start with the 30-minute time frame. We'll see that this is bar number 8 of a TD9 count. We know that it could be bar number 8, 9, the bar following 9. That could identify a bottom out here. So we might have a bottom. That forms between 8.30 and 9.30 this morning. Now, the key thing here is, I'm just going to expand out the uh, chart. Even if we get a bottoming pattern, we want to keep an eye on, you want to keep an eye on the oscillator and change line. We can see that the oscillator and change line has acted as resistance ever since 9.30 in the morning yesterday. And, and so, if there's going to be any kind of bottom signal, which there may be, Price would likely go ahead, Brent, and make a move up to the oscillator and change line. It's currently printed at 1782.90. No idea what it's going to be printing at at 122 in the afternoon. But if price is able to overcome that, uh, then that would be a, uh, a somewhat bullish signal because support would have held the top of the daily profile. You get a bottom signal here. Now, the first TD9 count that formed was about midnight. Let me see when that actually was. That was at... Uh, no, it was 9.30. Why was I thinking? Oh, it was about 1 o'clock in the morning when everything uh, started moving lower. So you did get a TD9 count bottom that eventually failed. We can see this nice swift move. Another TD9 count, Brent, that formed out here at 4 this morning. That failed to produce a result. So will this one produce a result or not? What I can share with you and everybody else in the audience is if price is able to close above that red oscillator and change line, then the answer would be yes. And I wouldn't have an answer until then. If we go take a look at other intraday time periods, so that was the 30. The 60 minute shows also bar number eight of a TD9 count. Now, if this TD9 count does not hold, the price gets below 1768, the next level to be looking at would be 1759.80 or in that range. Because as we look at the two hour and the four hour chart, we see that its TD9 count breakout levels are at 1757.90, 1757.90, 1759.80. So those would be the levels to be looking at. Both the 60 and the 120 and the 30 minute each have those TD9 counts that are present. All are in bar number eight right now. So there is reason to be on the uh, lookout. Uh, for that. In the case of the 60 minute time frame chart, as well as the uh, 30 minute chart, we see that the oscillator and change line change colors. We haven't seen the test of that. That's what we typically see. So that's what the short term time frame charts are showing. So support should be um, we could see a bottom form again between now, eight, well, we're seven minutes from 830, but between 830 and 930. And as long as uh, price holds a 1768.20 level, even though it's a potential Gartley sell pattern, um, I'm not convinced that the uh, that this is the end of the move for gold. So, Brent, from that information, what questions do you have? Oh, that's great, Steve. That's what I'm looking at. You know, I like to do the oh, the Friday, you know, the last day of the auction. Uh, yes. The calls, in this case, on the GLD. So this is very useful. This is what I'm looking for. I'll just be looking for those levels and a potential you know, bullish reversal candle and, and maybe take a shot at that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I, th I think that's a, that's a sound uh, that's a, that's a sound approach here, and uh, you know let let the market prove itself to you. So we get a TD nine count. Let's say that we do just go to the short term time frames, look for some bullish reversal candles, and and then go ahead and fire away. I was just trying to see on the 120 minute. Is that getting to be looks like maybe bar seven, or if it's kind of a ways into that one as well? I think right. Yeah, so it is it also going to form bar number eight. Now, the uh, the bar eight in the case of the two-hour time frame chart will not complete until 10 a.m. So this bar just started as we came on the air at eight. Um, but that's why, you know, you so you know that this has a potential bottoming signal. And that makes really, Brent, I would say the 30-minute chart the one to really be paying attention to, right? If there's going to be a turn, we'll see it take place there um, first. So, um, so, yeah, so that's what I'd be looking for or watching. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Steve. Have a great weekend, and, and thanks so much again for your help. Hey, my Take pleasure, care. and thanks so much for calling. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Let me check, folks, see if there's any requests that have come in by email. There are two, so let me get to uh, those uh, questions out here. Let me change screens as well. Sometimes I forget to do that, and I start talking about one screen, and uh, the other ones are showing. So this is from Alex. Alex writes, and he says, hey, Steve. 
with the S&P and Dow roughly 2% off their high, so he's talking about the S the equity market. So let me get back to those charts out here. Give me a moment. Here's our equity future. Actually, this is actually a good chart to take a look at. So um, <clears throat> Uh, we'll, we'll see if it's a good chart as we finish reading Alex's question. But his question goes on like this. Uh, the Dow roughly 2% off record highs, the NASDAQ composite about 4% behind. If those averages make new highs in October, would that change the seasonal low in October leading to a year-end rally? All the best. Uh, so let me, let me read this again. If those averages make new highs in October, would that change the seasonal low in October leading to a year-end rally? I don't, I don't really get that, uh, the seasonal low. So when we come back from this break here, I'll try to answer that question as best as I possibly can. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So uh, back to Alex's question, or at least the way that I'll answer Alex's question out here. And so what we're looking at, uh, many of you that are uh, watchers of the Trader's Ed show or some of the segments that I do with uh, Tom on uh, Monday afternoons are very familiar with the annual seasonal cycle pattern. And so what Alex, I believe, is first referring to is uh, here we anticipate a uh, bottom that forms. And don't even though I've got some dates here, folks, uh, please don't uh, uh, spend any time focused specific on the date. It's just a uh, it's just a it's just a guideline out here. What we're looking for in the October ish time frame is some type of bottoming pattern. 
And then when we get that bottoming pattern, what that says is that we should see the markets move higher into the end of the year. So now we take a look at the Dow Equity Future contract. This generated a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. It did it on the trading day, so it's done it a couple of times. It did it first on the trading day of September 22nd when it created this little three river morning star pattern. That was a bullish reversal candle. Now what that did, that candle uh, session, that set up support. And support would be the low of the pattern. That happened to be the trading day of September 20th, that low being 33,478. That's the key level of support. It doesn't matter that it was breached, for example, it was breached on October 1st, but that was a test and rejection of support. There was also a bullish hammer candle that formed out here on October the 6th. So we have a, a second confirmation of the Gartley buy pattern. So now in a Gartley pattern out here, there are typically five different outcomes. The first four are retracement levels. So let's take a look at those retracements, uh, or I'm going to try to, if I can get, there we go. So let me get the retracement tool out here. Because we want to try to understand, uh, so here's the retracement. What level are we at right now? So we go from, oh, I've got the expansion. Give me a moment here to change the tool setup. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it should be the default. So now we're going to go from the A point to the D point out here. And that's that's going to be, come on, we're... There we go. That's approximately right there. So what we can see is right now as we speak, I mean, right to the tick out here, is that the Dow Equity Future contract has made it back to its third price objective of a Gartley buy pattern. The first one being the 0 0.382 retracement, the second being the 0.618, and the third being the 0.786 retracement. So even though I don't know that this was a part of Alex's question, here's what we do know. Typically, if price is able to get above the 0.786 retracement, well, one, that pretty much negates the idea of the markets moving lower. The idea of it doesn't mean that they can't. And if price gets above the 0.786 retracement on the Dow Equity Future contract, we're looking at 34,971. That says that we should go at least back to outcome number four. Outcome number four is a move of a move coined by Tom O'Brien. And I'm going to have to pay him a dollar royalty for using that. But that move of move would take us back to the 35,408 level. The fifth outcome is that this turns into an A to B equals CD to the upside. If you're wondering what that would look like, I could put that in here for you. So the A to B equals CD to the upside for this Gartley buy pattern, I would use the June 21st low. And the reason I'm going to use that is because that's the lowest low on my screen right now. For the high out here, I'm going to use the actual high from August the 16th. And then for the C point, it's going to be that day from October the 1st. So the one to one A to B equals CD would get you up into the 36028 level. The 1 to 1 1.272, 36,747. So those are the areas where price, if, if, and we, well, here's, the, here's the thing, uh, Alex, is we have confirmed by the D point patterns on all four of the equity future contracts out here. So the seasonal low would appear to be in. However, if this is the caveat, that, that doesn't always have to be a caveat, but in this case here, we always have to go back to remember and recall what kind of market are we trading in because that is the most important thing and to answer that question all we have to really do I'm not sure which tab it is I think it's this tab well no it wasn't that tab uh, I'll come back to that in a moment but as we take a look at this Alex the markets are just trading in sideways consolidations rather large ones and so it could be that all price is trying to do, everything that we've seen here, is really get back to those all-time highs, get back to those sideways consolidations. Now, the cool thing, as you know, Alex, about the consolidation pattern is if new highs are made, this then, in addition to the A to B equals CD pattern that we just drew, and we could draw in many different A to B equals CD patterns to the upside, the cool thing about the consolidation is if price is able to take out those consolidation levels, then we have a measured move that is equal to that. With regard to the markets overall, there has been no change in trend signal. And that's really what this chart here is all about. Because this shows just simply the bottom of the weekly profiles. And in order to get a change in trend signal, we need to see a close below the bottom of the profile. The reality is, as you know, you need to see two consecutive closes. Because the first close below a level of support may just simply be a false flag, a false move out there. And in the case of the NQ, which did close below, uh, the uh, bottom of its weekly profile, the week that began on September 27th, it didn't get follow through to the downside. So we've got signals of seasonal lows that are absolutely in. But at the same time, the markets are trading these consolidations. So let's not get too far 
over our skis out here. And in the case of the Dow Equity Future contract, we saw that it's at a critical level, the 0.786 retracement level. That should then make us say, well, let's go look at the Dow charts, since we know they're at a potential point where a price could turn down. Let's go look at their short-term time frame. So to do that, folks, what we'll do is we'll go switch over to Stevie's eight panel charts. This gives us our multiple time frames. Now, it gives us our large time frame, such as the Dow on its monthly basis. No topping pattern in place here. Price is simply pulled back, test that green oscillator and change line. So from a monthly chat point, a monthly standpoint, it's outright bullish. In the case of the weekly chart, this formed a Gartley buy pattern. Price pulled back, tested its breakout level of support, 36. 33,623. Uh, price is likely targeting 35,567. We've already talked about the A to B equals CD pattern. Price is trained above the top of its daily profile. So the Dow Equity Future contract looks bullish. Now, if we look at the short term time frames out here, it still is bullish. So we don't have any topping signals, only potential topping signals on the five hour time frame chart. And that's a TD nine count pattern, but all the other TD nine count patterns are failing miserably here. So this looks like a continued rally to the upside. But to answer your question about um, that this, the seasonal bottoms are in, we're in a consolidation pattern. Price should really make its way up to the top of those consolidations. And Alex, if price closes over the all-time highs, just use these consolidations as their measured move price target. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in and have a, a great weekend. The next question coming in from uh, Johnny D. Johnny uh, writes in. Uh, ba -ba -ba <laughs> Do you think that this move up is a counter? So Johnny writes on your newsletter, you show the EES and NQ are in an A to B equals CD up pattern. So we really kind of covered even the, uh, we've, I think we've, we've, we've taken a look at that. With that analysis, do you think that the move up is a counter trend move or a resumption of the uptrend? So I think I answered that question too, Johnny, and that really we're just in a consolidation. So is it a resumption of the uptrend? I think it's a resumption of the uptrend, perhaps to the top of those consolidation patterns. But I can't, I, I, I would be disingenuous to say I know what's going to happen after that. Instead, I would prefer to show you the patterns that are in place out here so that you can anticipate what the market is likely going to do. And then your next question, so I think we've answered that. I hope that we have. But if not, Johnny, write back to me. And, and, and during the show here, we'll go ahead and try to answer that. But you also wanted to take a look at BMY for a potential long position. That's Bristol Myers Squid. So let's take a look at BMY, and uh, I'll get that fired up on my black background charts. We're going to change over to that, so give me a moment to change screens out here. It's a little bit of housekeeping, so we'll get the black background charts up on our screen. While that, while you're taking a quick look at that, I need to change over to another set of charts out here so that we can appropriately take a look at Bristol Myers Squibb, which uh, Johnny is looking at for a uh, entry into it. We'll see if we can come up with that. So this is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. If you're listening at 1.38 in the afternoon, thanks so much for doing that. Try to make this show as pertinent as we can for you. We'll be back to the normal programming hour on Monday. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at Bristol, Ma Bristol Meyer Squibb, and uh, this is for Johnny D, and he's looking for a uh, bottom. He's looking for an entry point. So here we've got the uh, TAS market profiles. We've got the daily, weekly, and monthly profiles. And so let's first see what it is that we can learn from this. So the very first thing, Johnny, that you should know, and it's clearly not just the profile levels, but we've seen actual price action, is we know that the bottom of that daily profile is a significant battleground level. Now, it's only been uh, one test of that level, uh, and that is on the trading day, two trading days, two trading days ago, and two, three trading days ago, so on October the 12th. But you can see how price tested and rejected that level. So 58.83 is going to be a big battleground. What else do we know? If we go back to the prior profile, that was a bullish structured profile, bullish in structure because that center, much closer to the bottom than to the top. Remember, at the top, you have sellers. The bottom, you have buyers. And in the center, you have both buyers and sellers that believe that that's where fair value is at. Now, when price gets below the bottom of a bullish structured profile, you anticipate that a counter trend move finds resistance at the center of that profile. And that's exactly what took place on September 29th. So important information with regard to the profile. So here's what we know right now. As of 843 in the morning, the battleground is at 5883. The question is, though, is there bottoming patterns or signals? So let's pull over Stevie's white background charts, because on the white background charts, that we, that's where we really get those patterns, other than A to B equals CD patterns. Now, you can see Bristol Myers Squibb has just been on a steady move to the downside. It has had a couple of bottoming patterns uh, along the way. Um, one would have been out here on the trading day of September 23rd when it generated a bullish engulfing candle. And uh, that was confirming a TD9 count. But see how price never was able to get above that red oscillator and change line? He had another TD9 count pattern that formed out here on uh, October 1st. Price never able to take out that oscillator and change line. So that's going to be a key level. Well, yesterday, price did close above it. But what price also did yesterday was it confirmed a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Now, we've seen a couple of these confirmed here, and they have failed. So so if your question is, is there a bottoming pattern in place on a daily basis for Bristol Myers? The answer is yes. Do I know how price is going to deal with 58.83? The answer is no. But if price could close above that, you're then looking at a move to 59.77, 60.47, and then eventually 61.34. 61.34 is where you get your change in trend signal. So the daily says bottom. Right. And now this big sell off. What does the weekly tell us? Well, I don't know. Let's go find out. So the weekly chart, again, we're looking for some type of bottoming signal. Do we have that? Well, the answer is it turns out that this week is going to form bar number eight of a TD nine count pattern. And what we know about that is that bar number eight can be the bottom. Now, bar number nine has to complete. 
And all that means is next week that Bristol Myers Squibb would have to close below uh, 6023 in order for that pattern to form. So yeah, this has potential. We see the oscillator and change line change colors four weeks ago. That tells us that we should expect and anticipate price in that line to catch up to each other, 6285. Let's take a quick peek at the monthly chart out here for Johnny. What do we have in the monthly? Not much, so we won't spend time there. That takes us into our intraday chart, such as the 30-minute chart. So here on a 30-minute chart, when price is going to make a bottom, what we typically look for is those intraday charts to give us those same signals as well. Well, the 30-minute chart did it. It gave us both a TD9 count bottom. It did it at 1030. Looks like yesterday, oh, uh, two mornings ago and a Rhodes Mintum indicator uh, bottom. Now, what price has not done is taken out a significant level of resistance. That would be at 58.84, but that is where price should target. If I take a look at the 65-minute chart, also bottoming signals. If I take a look at the 130, also bottoming signals. The 195, the same thing. So yes, uh, Johnny, you and everybody else that's listening that was interested in taking a long position in bristol Myers Squibb, now is the time to do it. I, you know, and then just uh, watch for that 58.83 battle that's going on. Let's see what it's trading at as we speak right now with the market speaking up. Uh, so let's get over. I get to this uh, chart right here. BMY. Let's put it in. BMY. And what was that level that we were looking at? Well, here's what it's trading at. 57.88. So 57.88. 58.80, so it's really only up just, uh, you know, just 18 pennies right now. So watch that 58.83. But, yeah, all the signals are there that it is absolutely trying to bottom. Will it bottom? Will it hold? I don't know. But you've got a good reward risk trade here. Uh, with regard to the reward risk, where's price targeting? The target that I would use for this would be that TD9 breakdown level of 61.34. So uh, I hope that helps you out, uh, Johnny. Thanks so much for listening as well as being a subscriber to Mastering Probability. Let me Take a quick check here, folks, to see if there's any other questions that have come in. There are not any other questions. So the, the question is, where do we go from here? Steve, can we take a look at FANG? Well, there's our next question. And the answer is we can. So F-A-N-G is the ticker symbol that we're going to look at. And let's get this up on our three background charts, our, our black background charts. It shows our TAS profile. So what do we know about FANG? I can't recall. I think this made a top out here and uh, on October 11th. And uh, all price has done is pulled back to test the top of that profile out there. Top of that profile being 105.95. So if, in fact, it did form a top, we're going to go find out in a moment, uh, it's really neutral to bullish because there's been no level of key levels of support that have broken. But let me pull over the FANG charts out here. I can't recall if they did form a top or not. Let's go find out. And when I say form a top, I'm referring to one of my topping patterns. So what do I have? I don't have that. Uh, I do not have a topping pattern that formed out here, period. I don't have an A to B equals CD. I don't have a TD9 count top. I don't have a, a Chapman Wave uh, top. I don't have any kind of a top out here uh, that this is formed. And all price has done is pulled back S&P to test and uh, reject support. And that's both the top of the profile as well as the uh, its green oscillator and change line. So price should make a run back for the highs from a few days ago. On a weekly basis, what do we have going out here for FANG? Again, no topping signal here. So this suggests that it wants to move higher. And on its 30-minute time frame chart, this formed with that wave number seven. That's letter G. It did it at 10 o'clock in the morning back on October 13th. So yeah, everything here looks pretty good. Now, if price were to close below, so support, you know where support is at, right? And we seem that it's uh, been tested and that it's held. If you see close below 105.95 then even though i don't have a topping pattern out here doesn't mean that it hasn't topped just means it hasn't topped with one of stevie's patterns that we use and if price closed below 105.95 that could signal to you s p that this is getting ready to move back to 94.73 90 13. I know you've had some good profits in this here, so don't let uh, some of those profits um, uh, vanish. So I hope that that helps you out, and uh, thanks so much for writing in. Now, what I'm about to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, change uh, charts because I know that there's a call... I know there's a call coming in. I, it's just a mental telepathy thing. I'm just kidding. It's John in Philly. Hey, John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Steve, oh, I'm very good. I... Uh... I tell you, I love when you do this show at this 8, 8 a.m. time slot. Excuse me, time slot. It uh, yeah. really is an adjunct to getting prepared for the day. Well, great. Well, thank you. Uh, and thank you for listening and, and, and all your kind comments. And uh, I know that you wanted to take a look at the NQ. So uh, what is it that you wanted to point out to assist us? Yeah. Very specific question, please. If you pull up the... 
NASDAQ futures, NQZ1 contract on the mm -hmm. two-hour charts. Okay. I'll uh, get I over there. I observe yeah. on that chart the Chapman wave count formed a Chapman wave peak F at the 2 to 4 a.m. bar. We're John. on the verge of making higher highs. Of course, we don't know if that will happen or not. Sure. Hey, but John, we're about to go to a That will John, put John, that John. particular count into Lake G. John, we're about to go to a break, so hold on to that thought until we get back. Sea Roads with TFNN. Be back shortly. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the two-hour time frame chart for the NQ. We've got John on the line. And, uh, John, sorry about that, that uh, you were cut off by the uh, commercial. But please proceed. Now, th there is a difference, I believe, between your charts and my charts. And sometimes with these two-hour time frame charts or four-hour time frame charts, different charting applications uh, will show different bars. So I am only in bar number E to the upside, whereas, and I believe on your system, you're at bar number F. But go ahead, please, and proceed with the question. Steve, you've just identified a little difference. It's quite subtle. The difference yeah. is simply this. The chart that, uh, that you've shown uh, starts the Chapman wave count from the 2 a.m. Wednesday low at 14,586.50. 
the alternate way of counting begins with the low, actually, strike that. Now there's yeah. only one way to count this. I start with the low at uh, 4 p.m. on Wednesday at 14, 585, 50. So starting from there, yeah. peak F is in place, going to a higher high, goes into leg G on the Chapman wave on this time frame. Okay. Uh, we, uh, you and I, uh, Basil Chapman and Denners, are well familiar with the Saratoga Bob Chapman Wave Peak G cell signal tool. Yep. Now, um, I'll be looking at applying that today, but my question is, Steve, if in fact we get to a higher high, and reverse and come down, can you tell me what levels need to be broken, looking at a larger time frame, be it the five-hour chart or the daily chart? What levels have to give way for us to conclude, oh, hey, these these highs here today, be it at 2 a.m. this morning or uh, from here forward sometime, is in fact clues of a tradable high. That's my question we're, for you. We're, we're, we're out of time, but I'll give you the number. Watch 15012. That's the TD9 breakout level for the 30-minute time frame. Folks, have a terrific Friday and weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You 